but he's wearing on his chest a thin blue line flag superimposed on the state of Tennessee and a hat with a Black Rifle Coffee Company, which also has operations in DC. From those clues and a tremendous amount of scrutiny of what he was wearing, we were able to first find him outside then find him with a woman who appears to be his mother and then trace them back to his oh hotel that God. night. Um, wow. I've seen people express some surprise at that some of the fast. profiles of some of the individuals who are being they identified. Him we in have their hotel several elected officials. That night. We have um, have we have some uh, a number of military veterans. Fuck we have the uh, man, lieutenant colonel, uh, the second zip tie guy, uh, Larry wow. Brock, I believe his name is, uh, Ronan Farrow, uh, I think working uh, in fact with John and sort of identified lieutenant him, Larry Rendell Brock, um, retired Air Force lieutenant colonel. As, as someone who has been covering this movement online, what is your reaction to what we are learning about who these folks were? Um, uh, of course, <laughs> it's not surprise. You know, we we've seen all these people before. Even you know that guy from Nashville. Um, we saw him at the Nashville anti-lockdown <laughs> protest, anti-black.